What's up everybody, AJ here, back again with another video. So, I'll be checking out the special program for Honkai Star Rail version 2.6, Annals of Pine Kenny's Mapo Age, which will be begin in 3 minutes and 53 seconds. So, I'll be real with you guys, I don't know what to expect in this special program. And as a matter of fact, right, the only new character that has been revealed from what I understand is Rapa, if I I hope I pronounce the, the, the character's name correctly. So, and I'll be really, you guys, I don't think I'll be pulling for any character in version 2.6. As a matter of fact, right, earlier today, uh, Honka Stavio has announced a somewhat a new character, but we will jump right into that one particular character um, right after the. I'm done reacting to this special program. And not, it's not just one character, they're, they're actually... Hunger Star Rail, from what I understand, has already announced two new characters for possibly version 2.7? I'm not really sure because back in... because last year, Hunger Star Rail announced that one after version 1.6, we'll be jumping right into 2.0. So, Going by how the pattern works, I would assume that they will jump right into 3.0. But a lot of people were saying that no, uh, apparently we we're jumping right into 2.7 first before heading over to 3.0. That's the, the word of mouth for, uh, from what I understand. But anyhow, we'll talk about two, um, the new characters that have been, have been revealed for 2.7 later on. Let's just check out what um, 2.6 has in store for us. I, will, I think I'll be put my expectations as as low as possible and as a matter of fact I don't think I'll be pulling for any character X but I'll, but if it's f if Firefly gets a rerun in 2.6 I will be absolutely livid because there's a character in version 2.7 that I really really want to anyhow uh, without further ado let's check out the special program for Honkai Star Real version 2.6 Annals of Pine Kenny's Mapo Age And just to be sure It is 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 showing live right over here And the video quality is Maximum value quality is at 1080p Therefore my reaction is 1000% authentic Anyhow The program will start in 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. LFG. This program is brought to you by the little. What the hell is going on? If arrived, Panacone's people fool. What? With the recent rise in tourists visiting Panacone, could you share some tips for out-of-town visitors who want to explore the campus? Uh, I just got here myself, and I've still got a mission to complete. Bye, Albert! Huh? Color your dreams, free your ideas. People, okay, what? The gold medal wind ensemble has won the Pentaconi's instrumental competition for 25 straight years! Mr. Rekka, the renowned director, is here in person to mentor us! Oh, we welcome you okay, to Okay, just say we're going back to Pentaconi for the look of things. Come one, come on! Don't miss out! Excuse me? What are you doing? Oh, right! Uh, Albert, have you heard of the Slumber Nana Association? They're looking Slumber for Nana? new members. You should check it out! Monkey! Oh, Ninja! Is the technique you're teaching the legendary passing out ninjutsu? Oh. Uh. The thirst for knowledge is what drives. Do that, boss! Get out of attending Paper Fold University. I guess I never really thought about it, but all my friends enrolled, so I thought I might as well too! Is that even a question? Mark my words, I will claim the 85th seat in the Genius Society, and I... <laughs> Seriously, all you do is talk big! Did you even attend in Dr. Society? Ratio's open lecture? Okay. And did you actually get that exchange spot at University of Veritas Prime? No. <laughs> A genius like me could never be understood by the likes of you, Mundanites. For this very reason, we arranged an exclusive. Dr. 
to reach you. How do you feel about the fact that many students are hoping you'll take on the role of guest lecturer at Paperfold University? <sighs> University of Veritas Prime now offers online courses. With so many ways to pursue education, insisting on guest lectures could be seen as nothing more than self-indulgence. All academies at Paperfold University, a hundred points taken away. Uh, Dr. Ratio, please hold on a second. I don't fully understand your area of research, but I have a few simple questions. The accent, though. Excuse me. Does Paperfold University have any culinary delights that you'd recommend? What is Little Monkey Kong doing right over here? Oh, it seems this student isn't too concerned about dietary matters. <clears throat> So, what are some must-visit spots at Paperfold University? Right. And we're jumping right into the trailer. Actors, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Oh my gosh, monkey everywhere! This is not it. Never did not need some Donkey Kong BS. I swear. Huh? The power of Ninjutsu here is quite tame. I shall unleash the vibrant colors of deadly Ninjutsu. Cool. By the great Lan above, deadly brocade ink painting. So she's a hip hop. Ninja! Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Finally, all preparations leading up to the climax. Look at all way. these little midget Donkey Kongs. The beatific final act. You gotta practice. Robin going Bye. DJ style. Interesting. Your name will carry your ideas, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. Dazzling Ninja reporting for duty. Okay. This is purely my speculation on which characters will be getting a rerun. Judging by that trailer itself, I'm speculating three characters will be getting a rerun. Which are... Wait, hold on. Make that at least two. At least two. Because Robin already got a rerun in the last banner, so... Goody Hill will be getting a rerun. Along with Dr. Veritas Ratio. As for that one character that might be getting rerun this is purely a speculation um it might be akron i'm guessing akron but i will say this if it's firefly i will be absolutely livid i'll be real so i'm so it will be ratio Hoodie Hill and Akron. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Well, and Albert is going DJ mode. They better not be influenced by Creepy Nuts. Hello, I'm Herda. <sighs> Veritas Ratio at your service. Greetings, I am the Dazzling Ninja, aka Rapper. Once again, a warm welcome to our three guests. After watching the PV just now, what are your impressions? I thought this was supposed to be an academic seminar. Why is it so chaotic again? I'd say there's not much difference between Penacone's indulgences and its academic pursuits. The campus is full of performances, graffiti, and even ninjas. <laughs> That's right. I, myself, am a ninja. Uh, never mind. Albert, can you explain why we come back to Panacone again? <coughs> Actually, this time, uh, 
Panacone's Paperfold University has extended an invitation to the entire cosmos. This prestigious cosmic institution is preparing for a new semester and its anniversary celebrations. For this yeah. very occasion, the university is preparing to hold a truly special academic seminar. As celebrities and shareholders of Pentacony, the crew of the Astral Express has been invited by the university to attend the event as distinguished guests. Oh, Turns nice. out the people of Pentacony are so dedicated to ninjutsu, they even study it in their dreams. The history of this university is closely intertwined with that of Pentacony. According to legend, Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glox, head of the Nightingale family. Glox Avenue in Golden Hour was also named after this former dean. That's right. A dreamscape school is unlike those of the real world. Imagination can be brought to life in dreams, giving Paperfold University a unique edge in its teaching methods. Dean Glox hoped that this university would provide a more open, free, and imaginative curriculum supplying the cosmos with innovative minds. So today, we have the honor of welcoming the cosmic singer and a famous Paperfold University alumna, Robin. Ms. Robin, to share with the audience all there is to know about the university. Very good. You know what? I'll just read the dialogue. During the address ceremony, the family's member will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. You're not seriously going to have a hand read out on the results, right? What's that you said? Uh, I said. What makes each of the three academies stand out? Dreamfield Academy focuses on developing students' security and imagination. Here, students who practice transforming memoria into physical objects with their imaginations, establishing the foundation for becoming skilled dream weavers. Ah, those shifting perspectives and staircases, and dreams edge. It's a bit of a deconstructivist architectural experiment. And Fortune Academy specializes in dreamscape commerce where many graduates are offered the chance to be involved in Panacone's economical affairs. The IPC also conducts campus recruitment at Paper 4 University. I knew that. In our IPC Paper 4 University group, about 80% graduated from Fortune Academy. Some even attended P40 or higher positions. But as I understand it, this academy has also churned out a notorious cosmic froster. Actually, the academy usage at Fortune Academy is quite remarkable. For example, how shifts in so glad sales can be used to forecast the state of the cosmos economy. The renowned so glad effect. Then there's Chaomuni Academy. The same academy do that is getting into teaching the performing wrong arts. Every year, the academy holds a performance competition. There's well-known directors who are invited to schools as of as mentors, and every student is split into teams to showcase their acting skills. All three of these academies sounds fascinating. With all that said, how does one get to paper for university? Ah, don't worry, everyone. Paperfall University is located at the moment of Saul. With easy access, you get there as soon as you start dreaming. 
From the moment you step onto campus, you'll be surrounded by the vibrant energy of music. One example is the Central Plaza, the school's landmark, which acts as the main stage for the yearly anniversary music party. Also, the gloss sculpture by the teaching building is a famous attraction. Many students stop by to pay their respects before the final exams. Praying to the founder not to fail you, does that really work? Using your imagination is great, but I recommend studying. It's probably more effective. Paper 4 University offers students a variety of study spaces including lecture halls and recording studios to support students from all academy in preparing for the exams but right now, it's both orientation and anniversary season. Various clubs are busy recruiting new members on campus and small music performances are happening everywhere. New students should take the time to explore the campus and soak in the atmosphere. No need to stress about studying just yet. There's one more question I've been meaning to ask. Where did all these monkeys come from? As far as I know, this is the latest fad on campus. I think they're called Slumber Nana Monkey. You see that the Slumber Nana Association has drawn a lot of attention during its full of students who are big fans of the, the monkey. Ah, these clubs and their trends remind me of my younger days. Oh, so long ago. Looks like Mr. Albert is quite reminiscent. Oh, I'm curious. Where did you get it from, Mr. Albert? Ah, uh, I... From our university. I don't think I've heard of that one. What's the full name? Snowy Owl University. Snowy Owl Who... University. Why can you delete that last part? Could you please stop using me as a sacrificial lamb to get reactions? <laughs> no need to worry about your past, Snowy Ninja. Let's focus that on was a really... university instead. That segment was way too lengthy. Version Banana outrage. Banana! Without Ninja and humanity, <laughs> I just had to say that. Will enter Bacone's Paper Fold University <laughs> as an auditing student to experience the joys of campus life. Not only will you be Banana, 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 and Don Hong, but you also make it is a reference to a common writer guy, by the way. Ah, now you've piqued my curiosity. I wonder which academy the Trailblazer will be placed in. Since they're a festive superstar of Penicanny, they should attend Charmony Academy. Or, since the Trailblazer is now the captain of the Radiant Feldspar and a Penicanny shareholder, they'll end up in Fortune Academy. Mm, given how creative they are, Dreamweaver Academy isn't out of the realm of possibility either. <laughs> no need to keep our guests guessing. <laughs> given the Trailblazer's personality, of course, they'll make their own choice. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it, this year's Academy tuning test will be different from previous years, with Mr. Rekka, the famous director and guest professor at Paperfold University, acting as the examiner. Mm, that's right. Mr. Rekka is famous across the cosmos. He's the genius behind Soul Shattered Dark Star and has launched the careers of countless major stars across the universe. To reflect Mr. Rekka's teaching methods, this year's tuning test has been turned into an audition. Why are you so excited all of a sudden, Snowy Ninja? <laughs> Naturally, as a seasoned actor myself, I've always had the dream of becoming one of Mr. Rekka's leading men. Hmm, perhaps I should join the auditions as well. Hmm. <clears throat> Moreover, Dream on, Albert. The members Dream of the on. Sweet Dreams troupe will step in for the teachers, acting as assistant nanas and prop nanas. Assistant nanas, prop nanas, <laughs> sounds weird. Well, it's just as Miss Robin said earlier. Slumber Nana Monkey has become incredibly, overwhelmingly trendy at Paperfold University. Bananas is the most popular form of communication at Paperfold University. Appropriate. 
it? Why, of course. It's perfectly appropriate. The rise of a culture always seems profound, but in reality... That's gonna get me to hell. There's usually a mastermind behind such... That stuff is gonna get me to hell. Do you truly believe the media oh, look, rise monkey. of Nana Monkey was entirely natural? You guys it's might not be able to see it, but it did appear for me for but there's something or someone behind it. This could very well be the sorcery of the emotions. Oh look, Sorry. another one. And right at the bottom left. Ninja Osaru at work. Apes, monkeys, bananas. I feel like the truth isn't too far out of reach. This kind of drivel cannot be permitted to spread any further. Albert, do you have any means to put a stop to it? On this point, I'd like to remind everyone of something. Remember back in 2.3, when another well-known director, Sparkle, sent the Trailblazer a message? You mean when it said Dr. Primitive actually loves to eat bananas? A masked fool would never reveal information without a twist. They're always playing pranks. Don't worry. Typical this is fool. exactly why I'm here in Penacani. Silver Gun Chira will also be lending me a hand. With the strength of the ninja hero, all wickedness will be purged. Next up, let's start by watching a video to learn about our new Galaxy Ranger friend, the Dazzling Ninja, a.k.a. Rapper! Gameplay. Okay. This is new. The music is very Japanese like. Very Japanese like, but it's funky at the same time. Fun fact According to my intel, Rappa has always considered herself a ninja. And she attributes everything in the world to ninja. Oh, she's erudition. It's as if the world she sees is different from she's everyone else. Imagine you erudition. The world is filled but with ninjas and I'll just shut up for now. So her entire worldview is fundamentally different from others? No matter. The way of the ninja has many forms, but they all converge in the end. Even if our ways of speaking differ, I am certain we ninjas will understand one another. For instance, when she mentioned the Silver Gun Shura, she was actually referring to Boot Hill. She also calls Dun Hung Ninja Hiryu, and the Trailblazer the Baseball Bat Ninja. Correct! Can you guess who Ninja Ruri and the Songstress Ninja are? Ruri is referring to March 7th, and I suppose the Songstress Ninja is. Robin. Robin? Exactly! Twirling Ninja is truly a master of the erudition. She has already grasped the way of the ninja. Twirling? <coughs> Due to her unique way of seeing the world, Rappa tends Makes to sense. identify key features of things and describe that, that, them using ninja-related um, terms. Her, um, her does attack move most of the time. She, she goes, she's twirling most of the time. By the way, Makes the sense. Rappa is quite unusual. It doesn't have any special meaning. It means, of all ninjutsu methods, this name suggests my heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. This is the way ordained by the Great Ron. In essence, it means wiping out evil and standing up for justice, which is the core belief of the Galaxy Rangers. Mm -hmm. I've heard that Rapper rescued travelers being chased by combat apes, freed experimental test subjects persecuted by evil ninjas, and helped a village that was tricked by the evil ninja Rosaru, among many other such deeds. It seems as if Rapper's heart really will remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. As for Rappa's unique way of speaking, <laughs> all will be revealed in the version 2.6 Trailblaze Continuance Mission. Thank you, Snowy Ninja, for your insightful explanation. I am excited to see what destiny holds for this meeting of ninjas at Paperfold University. In getting to know Rappa, you'll undoubtedly notice her strong commitment to justice and a fierce opposition to evil, traits shared by all Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> exactly. You can better understand her mindset through her combat style. 
as fellow Galaxy Ranger Boot Hill once said, Only for Coroni, she's really strong. <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's dive into a demonstration of Miss Rappa's ninjutsu. When right. I use my technique, I enter the graffiti state, swiftly moving forward, attacking any enemies in my path. So this is dazzling ninjutsu, huh? There's graffiti all over the place. Are you sure you didn't pick this up from a certain hacker? Wait, is, um. is that a skateboard you're standing on? This is a ningu. Time to unleash a flurry of ninjutsu techniques. When entering combat in the graffiti, it's state, practically a combination of, of skateboard and shuriken. Of weakness types. During battle, Rappa's skill will inflict imaginary type damage on all enemies. After activating my ultimate, I enter the seal form state, gain a certain number of chroma ink points, wow. and unleash Ningu, Demon Bane, Petal Blade. Aha! A first-person combat perspective. How utterly unexpected. Ooh, take a look. Okay. The opponent is a new enemy which will appear in version 2.6, the Banacademic Office. What are they yelling? Banacademics publishing academic titles? This is the Green Banana's ultimate combo move. Fear not the approaching foes. The first few hits of Ningu Demon Bane Petal Blade deal imaginary blast damage, and the final hit deals imaginary to all enemies. During huh. seal form, my weakness break efficiency is increased, allowing me to reduce the toughness of enemies even without imaginary weakness. Huh. Check it. Dazzling tags, hidden blades. That's just a tease for a ninja like me. Taking evil is a breeze. Ain't afraid of no enemy. Bring in the heat. Time to show them real skills. It can't be beat. With danger ahead, weakness type ignored. In the dojo, no luck, just power explored. Reduce toughness, cut them down with ease. Every strike I hit brings them to their knees. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just pulled a rapping. Is this the ninja mantra that Rappa was talking about? Uh, perfect time. We've also invited the famous singer Rail to perform Rappa's PV song, No Dazzle, No Break. Okay. This will undoubtedly teach you all what real essence of the ninja mantra is about. Can't wait. <laughs> Who'd have thought yeah. uh, ninja cool. and hip hop and could be a, a cool combination? Point six is batters. In version 2.6 first half warp event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five star character Rappa. The limited five-star light cone, ninjutsu inscription, dazzling evil breaker will also have a boosted drop rate. And just so you all know, the limited <laughs> five-star character Don Hung in Bible of Ume is returning. And at the same time, the limited five-star light cone brighter than the sun will become available <laughs> in Bible of Ume. The four-star <laughs> light cone dreams <laughs> of <laughs> the has also been added to the <laughs> And version 2.6 is second half <laughs> for event. The drop rates of the limited five star <laughs> character <laughs> okay. and the limited five star light cone inherently As much as I would love to have a match in, he can wait. He can <laughs> wait. Because a certain other character is in my higher priority one. list. <laughs> but still, don't know me. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what the hell? Oh god, Oh god, this is gonna get meme to hell. This is gonna get meme to hell. <laughs> and take the me. Because there are, there are certain stuff that I, I really want to talk about though, to be very honest. Because here's a fun fact about um, Rappa. Her Japanese voice actress, Han Megumi-san, she, she's also the, the same dude who voices Shikanoko. And she's Arima Kana from um, Oshinoko. Welcome back! Let's keep showcasing the exciting and vibrant life at Paperfold University. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be their uh, flagship event. The turmoil at Paperfold University, the incredible campus life will carry on. 
What does it have to offer? Take the music party, for instance, which is being enthusiastically prepared. It's the highlight of the Dreamlight anniversary, where students from different academies will express their <laughs> dreams and by piloting their music. The echo of in the version the of Ensound <laughs> and Ninjutsu <laughs> Inscription, the Trailblazer can take part in the Dreamlight <laughs> anniversary music party as the band manager, working with the band leader, the Dazzling Ninja Hero, a.k.a. Rapper, leading the band in performances. Is there any limit to the Trailblazer's ever-expanding career path? And now, a band manager? What exactly does a band manager even do? To create enchanting ninja music that touches band the manager. audience, the Honorable Baseball Bat Ninja will be lending me a hand in discovering musical inspiration. I was thinking of Bochi the Rock at first, the but then again, Bochi the Rock doesn't world. really have a uh, have a manager. Rhythm patterns have appeared. So band manager, Keon? No, 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 not Keon. Definitely not Keon. They don't have a manager. They more like have a have an instructor. Just a heads up, if you accidentally miss a beat, the whole performance might fall apart. <laughs> Time to put the Trailblazer's sense of rhythm to the test. The music party will feature three performances on the central stage, each with a distinct style. The band manager's goal is to ensure all three shows go off without a hit. Band manager. After collecting enough audio I'm tracks, trying to think of the Trailblazer can arrange anime and has edit the tracks to create a full Idol Masters? But Who Idol Masters is more into is idols, though. The background music in the performance scene will change accordingly. Band members will take the stage. I can't think of what I mean. And some set pieces will move to the rhythm of the music. Sway to the cosmic beat together. Of course. While preparing for the three Wait. live performances with the band, many uh, music loving this friends one? will step in to this offer one anime. Help. Such as the music boy veterans from the band Mechanical Fever or Miss Robin, a Your boy of me. Charming Academy. Both are very supportive of this new band. Finish the event to receive the four-star event light cone. Destruction. Sound hunt. And it's super. Why is it destruction? <laughs> Why can't it be? <laughs> Furthermore, Erudition. as a standing band manager, the honorable baseball bat ninja is responsible. Because for in the case that, emotional struggles, from the perspective of a free to play, F to P player, right? If can, if people want to pull for rapper, but they are unable to get the, her signature like code, at the very least, right, by doing this event and so by getting that like code. They should be able to get equipped the, the lightning cone that has the an evolution light cone <laughs> to wrap uh, up. I just don't understand why is it destruction? Emotional highs and lows going through tears. And it should have been erudition. Successfully pulling off their final show. I'm, just just my personal thoughts, man. It should be it should have been erudition. Every step of the way. So is there any other intriguing content in version 2.6 or is that all? That's not all. Mr. Coffee's point up shop. The Trailblazer will receive an offer. What the hell is this? Your face to work together. Once Shirillo 6 was reconnected to the Silver Rail, our old friend Sambo Samples. took a trip beyond the stars and stumbled upon a new business opportunity. He's gearing up to open a Mr. Coffee's store, which deals what with monkey meat, business and is he planning to do this time? To invest and make a fortune. Without a doubt. Sampo is Yorillo 6's ultimate wheeler dealer. Uh, I wouldn't trust any money making schemes that come from a masked fool. Rest assured, Agreed. Sampo might have Dr. Ratio. He never deceived the Trailblazer. During the Mr. Coldfeed store event, all the Trailblazer needs to do is submit different materials to Sampo each day. Since oh, the products it's the same. The same stuff Plus, that Genshin did. What buyers from all corners just exchange the materials and, and then you, you you get free rewards. So he only spares the trailblazer from his tricks. <laughs> <laughs> According to the rumors, other than working with Cold Feet Full Ninja, Shadow the Ninja, Baseball Pet Ninja will be entrusted with another special task from Win Chi Chi in version 2.6. Don't tell me, it's another wanted notice for Boot Hill. Given that Boot Hill's bounty keeps rising, it's no uh, wonder everyone is searching for him. 
The objective of this assignment is to collect information on the recent happenings of the Galaxy Rangers and Pinacone. In the shadow of the Ranger event, yep. the Trailblazer Sing. must complete different assignments Sing. to obtain rewards. Shit. Galaxy Rangers, plural. Seems like Rappa is also under investigation. Where the Galaxy Rangers go, you'll find both justice and bounties. <laughs> Let's all thank Mr. Wen Shi Chi. In addition to these events, version 2.6 will bring us the much anticipated third simulated universe DLC the update. Simulated following the universe? Disaster and Golden Gears. This time, a massive void known as the Unknowable Domain has appeared within the simulated universe. Originally, this part of the simulated universe was in the process of simulating a historical event known as the Scholar's Strife, which followed the Second Emperor's War. Uh. Hang on a second. That's a uh, far too many confusing ninja phrases to understand. Uh, treating this kind of mental sluggishness takes more than a day. Albert, please provide a more detailed explanation for everyone. <laughs> I get it. After all, it's a research topic that only geniuses would understand. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, on. there's also some juicy gossip about Madame Erda. Hmm? <clears throat> so, what exactly is the Scholar Strife? <laughs> it's quite a long story. <laughs> After Emperor Rupert II's death, many scholarly factions fought tooth and nail for his legacy. <laughs> the right to distribute and use the Scepter System's computational resources. In short, <laughs> The Scepter System is a cluster of inorganic bionic neurons created by Rupert II. It functioned as his external thinking unit and had incredible processing capacity. After the Second Emperor's War, this numerous Who's that young lady Scepter units there? were handed over to the Intelligentsia Guild by the IPC for research. For scholars, even gaining access to just 1% or even 1 ten thousandths of the system's computational power would drastically reduce the difficulty of their research and significantly speed up their results. This disparity in productivity is what ultimately fueled the scholar's strife. As for the unknowable domain, it involves a personal rumor about Madame Herta. <laughs> Can we even talk about this, madam? I have nothing to be ashamed of, and I wouldn't exactly label it as a rumor either. Even for a genius such as myself, the journey of scientific research is not without its challenges. My research goal is to expand the total knowledge of the universe. But every time I feel on the verge of a breakthrough, some inexplicable obstacle seems to arise, hindering my progress. Looks like even the great twirling ninja has her setbacks from time to time. And I believe that this unknowable domain is one of those inexplicable obstacles. It's preventing us from gaining specific knowledge and unearthing a particular part of history. Correct! Thus, the great Madame Herda has decided to simulate the Scepter System, resurrect Emperor Rupert II, and add a fifth collaborator to the simulated universe in order to push past this research bottleneck. Let's get straight to the point. I need the Trailblazer's help to gather data on the Scepter. As a result, the combat rules in this simulated universe will be completely different from the previous ones. In the simulated universe, Unknowable Domain, the Trailblazer's combat buffs, will be centered on the Scepter and its components. The Trailblazer can acquire and equip up to three Scepters, each possessing unique offensive effects and charging conditions. Okay. In combat, once specific conditions are met, a Scepter can be activated to deliver powerful attacks on the enemy. During exploration, you can also acquire components and decision components that can be equipped onto the scepter, creating extraordinary combo effects during combat. Oh, and how exactly do components differ from decision components? Components provide significant boost to the effects of the scepter. Decision components, on the other hand, are rarer and, when equipped, greatly increase the frequency of which the scepter can be used while also creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters. Wow! It looks like ninja formations and ninjutsu tactics are way more versatile now. Huh. You can also combine lower tier components to create higher tier ones, granting more significant combat boosts. Overriding components to change their type is also possible in specific domains. During the initial phase of exploration, the Trailblazer can collect scepters in different domains and equip them with suitable components to enhance their power. 
In the mid to late phase, the Trailblazer can strategically combine scepters and components, creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters to defeat the final formidable foe. I trust the Trailblazer comprehends everything by now, don't they? Go ahead and run the tests, and be sure I receive a report as well. Furthermore, in version 2.6, oh. the simulated universe ah! story will be populated with light cones so and super how materials we can from get previous the, events, allowing Trailblazers the, the light cone that, to purchase the new, oh, tutorial mission new players we started too. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Okay, now Neat. let's take a short break, and we'll keep the show going when we're back. That's kind of neat. Okay. Here's the thing. I will definitely check out the Trailblaze Continuance without Shadow World Out. But as I mentioned earlier, I won't be pulling for any of these characters as much as I would love to have Aquan and E2. Because, here's the thing. In the next version, I would assume it's called version 27 as of this very moment. Monka Star has already announced two new characters. I'm definitely skipping one of them, but the other one I'm planning to go without Shadow of Doubt. So one of them is Sunday. It's confirmed that Sunday will be a favorable character. While the other character that I will be, that I will be pulling for is the five star version of? I'm not gonna. I'll just shut up for now. Welcome back, y'all. I'll just shut up for now. Emerging 2.6. We have some new materials to introduce to everyone. New materials. Stagnant Shadow, Shape of Timber, will be going live soon, and by successfully beating it, you can new obtain essential a section boss material. For imaginary characters. Cavern of Corrosion. Path of Uncertainty is also set to launch. New Successfully relics. To be rewarded with two relic sets. Secure doses, relived ordeal, and scholar lost in erudition. Indeed, the Garden of Plenty event will and be returning. Usual and the Planet Fisher will likewise support Along with Planet rewards. Fisher. Usual. Of and of course, the gift of Odyssey. <laughs> Not bad, Albert. It seems like you've unknowingly learned the ninja mantra. All right, everyone. That brings us to the end of this episode. It's time to say goodbye to everyone. We'll see you all at Paper Bowl University. And that's a wrap. Bye-bye. Bye. Farewell. -bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye. And that's the end. Hey, yo, yo. It's a special program coming at you live with something sublime. Uh, why the are you rapping all of a sudden? This is the Ninja Mantra Special Mastery Edition. Now put your betters together for the IPM's cutest host, aka Fat Beak. It's what? Albert's time to shine. But on the grind over time, master of even rhymes, hoping for promotion, got the paid away on all my mind. Still remember the golden days, everything's so fair and brief. I'm losing my mind, and my lust back to the IPC. Pay the duck shine, build a rap game. What the sleeping, hell? Always sweeping, driving to come, driving to come, reach the highest heights. Top floor officer looking into the starry sky. Slash, cut, cleave. A cheer up, Albert, time for us to team up. Catch evil doers together and smash them all into dust. Mapo age of the dharma. Of the this is a kind of back, though, no, I would say this. Stronger, faster than the rest. Inside the ninja's heart, shines a light to defend that carries on to the end. The will refuses to bend. The way of the ninja, great land on my side. The hunt's lux arrow is my compass and guide. Here to blaze a trail, how you thought I misspoke? We'll take a bet to your shootout, cause rules are Wow! Low Hold on, Randy. Number one train, here to keep us all connected. What, you thought this was a game? Attention passengers, the express is approaching its destination. Next stop, Paperfold University. Please ensure you have all your personal belongings with you. The Mapo age is about to begin. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> that was fun. That rapping segment? I will say this, that was lit. That was lit. I will say this, and I kind of want to see more, uh, of this of that rapping session in Honkai. Not only Honkai Star Wheel, but probably in Zelda Zone Zero as well.
Genshin would never, unfortunately, because I just don't see Genshin doing this kind of a thing. I just don't see it. I'll be reading with you guys. So, I really... That wrapping session, not gonna lie, that was it. That was it. Anyhow, back to the conversation regarding the next the follow-up version to version 2.6 which i will assume as of this very moment will be 2.7 so as i mentioned earlier version 2.7 there will be two new characters which are sunday and a five-star version of Jingyun. so as you can see on the screen right over here this is, yes, her her name her, her name is the name it really written over here is Fugue. But as you can see on the on the top right screen, right, Chinyin is right over there. The reflection of Chinyin is right over, right over there. So it is safe to assume that this is practically the five star version of Chinyin without a shadow out. And as a matter of fact, right, it is confirmed that she is a fire element that follows the path of nihility so with that being said i am definitely will be pulling for Fugue or this five star team without a shadow or without so and this is purely my speculation regarding the reruns for version 2.7 but it might be it might be it might be brutal though so I will, here's here's my assumption in the first phase of the character banner in version 2.7 I will assume that it's safe to assume that Sunday will be in the first half or the first phase of uh, of the character banner then the character V1 that will be in the first phase of the banner it's most likely a female and I have a very gut feeling that it might be Firefly I have a very gut feeling because I believe Firefly is the only character that didn't get a rerun as of this very moment. Because, from, from what I remember, all of the characters have already have a, a rerun, except for Firefly, and Firefly, Jade, and Boot Hill. So, it's most likely Firefly from the way I see it, but it could be Jade as well. But I will assume it's probably Firefly. I might be wrong. As for the second half, second phase of the banner, this is again, this is purely my speculation. Nothing has been confirmed yet. This is purely my speculation. Fugue will be in the second phase without, without a shadow of a doubt. But the character that will most likely will be getting a rerun on the second phase is most likely would kill because uh, <coughs> judging from the look of this right Honkai Star Wheel, they have a tendency to put one male and one female in a in one phase of the character banner so following that concept of how Honkai does their character banners I will assume that in the first phase of version 2.7, it will be Sunday and either Firefly or Jade. But most, I, have, I, have a, I have a gut feeling it will be Firefly. I have a very gut feeling. As for the second half, Fugue is a female without shout out out. And the, the female slot has already been taken by Fugue on the second phase of the character banner for version 2.7. So, the male slot is most likely boot heal because Avengerine is getting his uh, banner rerun in version two, the second half of version 2.6 so <clears throat> as again as much as i would love to get um firefly at e e2 at the very least i want to pull for i want to pull for fuge i really do oh i know both buddy i'm i'm kind of f2b by the way i'm kind of f2b so, my highest priority right now is to get um, Fuwei, <coughs> regardless of how her gameplay is, 
I kind of hope her gameplay is is mind blowing and attractive at the very least. So I'm definitely we pulling for Wuge with Fugue without a shadow without. So <clears throat> and that's pretty much um, what I what I can talk about uh, version 2.7. And I really hope and I really hope that in version 2.7 right. There's a possibility that we might be getting two <coughs> um, character story. We, one is uh, that, we, uh, that, that we'll be focusing on Sunday, and then then the other one will be, will be focusing on Tingdin. But how are like, they going to pull it off? I have absolutely no freaking idea. Uh, we'll we'll just see how Honkai Star will pull off the um, version two point seven. And that's pretty much my reaction to the special program for Honkai Slavia version 2.6. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, I do appreciate a thumbs up on the video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on uh, the updates on version 2.6. Uh, what are your thoughts on Rafa? Are you guys saving up for her? Or are you guys saving up for future characters such as the likes of Sunday and Fugue? Or are you guys planning to pull for rerun characters such as the likes of I believe it was... Acheron, Aventurine, and Inviter Lune. Anyway, my name is AJ, have a good one, and I will see you all in the next video. Love, 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 love.